Special needs people. With brains built differently from ours, special needs people often struggle to fit in society because of their disability. As they grow up to be young adults, they may still be incapable of taking care of themselves due to the lack of basic life skills, not to mention finding a job to earn a living. As a result, parents tend to join voluntary organizations for support and participate their children in programs that teach special needs children basic life skills. Therefore, by advocating SDG goal number four, quality education, we visited Kalap Kabun community Anak Istimewa P3KU, located at USG 18, to get a better understanding of how special needs people are living differently. From an autism and disability activity center to an urban farm for disability teen employment, a group of parents with special needs children started P3KU in year 2011 to provide free training and activities for special needs children that are aged 5 to 12 years old during that time. After 12 years, a group of them have grown up to be in their teens and youth. The question of what they can do, where they can go and how they are going to make a living there starts the project of P3KU Urban Farming with MPSJ and MPSJ MPP Zone 3 an urban farm which provides employment for special needs teens. 011 we started at USJ2. It's a center where we taught the children basic life skills. That means that they were very young. All school going children. Younger. Some primary, some secondary school. They come to our center after school hours. We learn the basic life skills. Like for example, we teach them basic cooking, baking, laundry, cleaning the house. Besides the life skill, we also talk, there's also music classes, <laughs> computer classes, and reading classes. Those, that time was, they were school going children. Now, all our children have grown up to be young adults, age 20 and above maybe. So, and they had finished their school, secondary school, sort of graduated from the school. So, we find that uh, it's a bit difficult to find employment for them outside because of their disability. So, and so happened in 2019, and BIG gave us this piece of community garden land for us to cultivate. So we thought, yeah, now well, is the right time to bring the children over and for them to progress from here. That means they are going into job employment. This kebun only started zero funding. <laughs> what we get is a paper from MPSA saying that, okay, we got approval for you to do. And then after we look at it, the land is too big. How to do, know what to do because every piece of bricks and soil and all it also is cost money. We are NGO. We need public funds. This is the public. At the moment, Subang Jaya residents, they are very supportive towards what we are doing. Because like in Kebun here, what we do is we teach the children uh, to start from very basic of planting. That means uh, we teach them how to pack the soil, how to sow the seed, how to water the plants, harvesting plants, some we can, some cannot. So the fruit or veggies, after harvesting, we will put to sale. This is basically uh, all run by the parents, especially. It means the parents will have to come and work here together with the children. The parents are the children's teacher. Shortly after the interview, we introduced ourselves and hosted a few games for the special needs young adults. But there was a communication barrier that made it difficult to play certain games. So the only activities that were able to be carried out were human bingo and singing songs. Moving on, we took a short break after the activities were done. We also gave out snacks and drinks to them as we all needed to refresh for a bit. After the short break, Mrs. Jessie decided to give us a tour around the farm. She showed us the plants that they were growing there. Today, NGOs like P3KU have helped youths with disabilities to have a safe and effective workplace. Though this is only a small percentage of people with disabilities, as according to OKURightsMatter.com, the workforce participation among working age Malaysians with disabilities is low, with approximately 4,500 workers in public and private sectors as of 2018, which is barely 1% of 
the number of registered persons with disabilities in the country. This shows that most people with disabilities do not have an opportunity to be employed or even have education. This is due to the lack of support and awareness from society and even the government. That's the reason the purpose of why we started this thing. It's not, not just for uh, somebody's children, but for every case, for every parent, every children is uh, different of people. They, they have the opportunity to come up and look out for the houses and try out and try out the, which are the, the, the place or the world that's suitable for them. They might not be suitable in the but they, they just come and try for if they are not, they can start to explore whether art is suitable, whether music is suitable, and whether sports, whether they can play baby, just go and learn how to get coffee or everything. But every case will be able to, uh, and not just to stay in the food. It's very easy to send it to a poor that they, they just keep it some, but uh, I feel that for them, right, they are functional. As we talked more with the parents and Mrs. Jesse, we understood more about the situation. Many people with disabilities are often left to stay in their houses as they lack social skills and the ability to leave their houses. Unable to have their own financial income, they rely on their family members to support and take care of them. Um, my experience of volunteering at P3KU really changed my perspective on a lot of things. It was so heartwarming to see people with special needs enjoy themselves, and the smiles on their faces really brightened my day. I was so impressed with how well the garden was tended, and the variety of the plants, and how beautiful it all was. I think that everyone has to volunteer at an NGO at least once in their lives, because it really changes everything. And I also hope that more people know about this beautiful farm and come visit sometime to buy the fruits and vegetables from here. Volunteering at an NGO was a meaningful experience for me. Spending time with people with special needs is something I've never done before. It was a different experience. Even though there is a communication barrier between us, we still made efforts to try to understand each other. It was a meaningful experience spending time with them and getting to know them a little bit more. We are very thankful to them for allowing us to volunteer, film and interview their parents and also get a garden tour and our knowledge of plants has definitely expanded thanks to Madam Jessie. We hope that there will be more donations and sponsorship for P3KU and the garden will grow bigger and bigger. Well, I am grateful for this opportunity to visit and volunteer at P3KU. It was a great experience learning about these young adults and their day-to-day -day life. Talking and playing some games with them was a fun experience as it changed many of my perspectives. I hope that many people after watching this documentary feel the need or want to volunteer to an NGO. It is important for us to raise awareness about this so with more support, NGOs like PGKU are able to continue their activities and help more people with disabilities by giving them the opportunity to reach out, learn new skills and work so that they are able to support and take care of themselves more easily. Inzat Perlman once said, Every person with a disability is an individual. People with disabilities are humans too, and with your help, we can help increase the quality of education and job opportunities for people with disabilities. Conclusion, we hope this documentary has shed light upon the importance of quality and equal education to ensure equal access to all levels of education and vocational training for the vulnerable, including people with disabilities. We would like to encourage everyone to participate and volunteer at NGOs that provide for special needs children to show support and also experience the difficulties of special needs education from the perspective of the educators, parents, and also the children. Mini, what
na yan. Yeah, that's good. It's like one month we're going to have a 